Welcome on the journey, Capricorn. Capricorn, let's see what the current energy is for you. What is current energy for Capricorn? Ooh, regret. Or you're coming out of regret because it's in reverse. So maybe you're starting to realize now that you actually do have the power to change the past and that you're not going to have any regrets in this situation. So what is it that you've been feeling regretful about, but now you're going to change the situation? Ooh. We have Guardian of Action, which is the Knight of Wands. So it's time for you to step up and be the leader. Your natural leadership skills are being called into action. This is your moment in the sun, so move into the light and shine for all to see. This card is also about a person who has charisma, is inspiring, enjoys a challenge, and loves the spotlight. Now, it's interesting because I cannot ignore the way things come out and things happen the way they happen. So you're coming out of regret, but you're not taking any action yet because this was in reverse. So you're not ready to step up yet and to take action on something. And maybe you have this ability. Maybe you have this ability to lead a huge amount of people. You are a potential star. You have some potential here, but you're trying to stay out of the spotlight and you're not regretting this because this feels good to you. You're going through some kind of contemplation here and you're seeking the truth for you. You have yellow jasper, control issues. Utilize your God-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you. And so maybe you have been controlled all of your life and you've been living your life for other people and they have wanted you to be in the spotlight. Maybe in fact, when you were younger or in the recent past, you were pushed into the spotlight against your, against your wanting, against your <laughs> permission. How do you say that? I don't know what the, the saying is there but so you're used to all of these people trying to control you and so you're starting to take your power back I see you're gaining your confidence in the situation you have reflection this is realizing that the path that people were pushing you on was a path of illumination or of illumination. Well, maybe you've been illuminated to the truth that things were distorted. Things have been an illusion. Things have been what other people wanted you and you're starting to see the truth. You're examining what you want in life and maybe you're ending the way things used to be an old part of yourself because we have 13. So I think of the death card that comes to mind, but it's also a four. This is your foundation. This is about your stability and, and you have that potential. Yes. But does that necessarily mean that it's for you? And I feel that you're not afraid to begin again and that who wants to be and feel imprisoned in something that isn't part of their soul? And you've been held back by the people in your life. I feel these are family members. Maybe you've been trapped in relationships and maybe someone's got a hold on you 
and you feel like there's nothing you can do, but you're at the end of this road where there's nothing left to give to the situation and there's no more energy to fight in the situation. So it's time to make a clean break from the past. Maybe it's to do with a relationship or a job. Maybe it's something that you've been going through with your health. But don't be afraid. Spirit wants you to know not to be afraid of the unknown. And it's time for you to celebrate, to grieve, to allow yourself to learn from the past. And maybe you need to listen to some healing frequencies and to listen to some music or to sing or to go to a jazz bar or listen to an opera and just celebrate music, celebrate healing music while you're going through this ending of the way things used to be. You're not going to apologize anymore in a relationship. You're not going to continue these same old patterns that have been repeated with somebody in the past where it's led to this journey through your darkness where you've been learning how to balance your life, your health. You're going through some kind of spiritual awakening right now and I feel this sense of rebellion in you where as you're starting to love yourself, you're believing more in yourself and maybe you are teaching this to other people now or you're ready to begin this this is the key to your healing maybe is to teach this to share about this to sing about this something <laughs> all right in working with others for we are always around others you're being asked to always do your best and to not overdo it. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and go against yourself and it will take you longer to accomplish your goal. So some of you have been pushing yourself to the extreme and it has been creating your, some issues with your health. Maybe you need to have a nap, get some rest. You have, I am a magnet attracting unto myself, which is another four here, which is about that endurance, creating your foundation. And there's a, a lady looking at the moon. So, and I see this as her cozy blanket. It's just to like get more sleep. Without exception, what you give thought to, wanted or unwanted you begin to invite into your experience. See yourself as a magnet attracting unto you the es essence of whatever you are thinking and feeling. For example, if you are feeling, if you feel poor, you cannot attract prosperity. It defies the law. So when I see that health is coming out, when I'm being guided to advise you that if you're feeling crappy, for example, in your health, to think about Instead of saying, I don't want to feel like this. I'm, I don't want to feel tired. Well, you could turn it around and say, I want to feel healthy. I am healthy. I want to do things like get some more sleep, eat healthier, drink less to help my life, to get my body into alignment so that I can feel better. look into the animal symbolism of all of this Capricorn. Ooh, what do we have? You have two animals. You have turtle and you have frog. So you are very sensitive to what is going on around you, I can see. And it's been, it's been quite the journey you've been going through. It's been a slow process where you have been really trying to protect 
yourself through a situation and you're trying to persevere as you go through this transformation and this change. You've been going through some kind of metamorphosis with the frog here. And I feel that you're cleansing away and clearing away and healing the past, but you're so overworked, I feel. So maybe you need to put an end to the way you've been working on in your career or at something you're working too hard and it's making you really sensitive and maybe you just need some more self-care here need to stay at home bring yourself in like the turtle protect your energy too to enjoy the journey it's slow yes you have to sometimes go through the darkness and there's rain falling on the frog and this darkness here there's a lot of emotion here that you're going through and it's 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 like it needs to just be a flow recognizing that you're this is part of the journey is to flow through and to cleanse and to clean out these toxic negative energies that you've been dealing with and it's painful and you are grieving you can tell You have, you are protected, 39, which is a 12, which is a three. So this is to do with your soul groups. You may have had your family, maybe some of you are not even in communication with your family that much anymore. And you are starting to find your soul group of people who are, who are there for you through thick and thin. And also you're getting more connected to spirit here and you are safe within this bubble of light, remember, you can proceed with confidence because you're being guided. Spirit is guiding you. You can let go and to go into this unknown because it's safe to be loved. It's safe to love and to be loved again. You are loved by spirit. All right, I'm gonna get you some cards of inspiration for the life you want. Use that word instead of, I don't want. I want to have a good life. I want to learn. I want to grow. I want to move into my new life, the new life stage that I'm going through, through this metamorphosis. Take a deep, take a breath and keep going. Isn't there a chance of being surprised? By what happens next. Barbara Brown Taylor. Anytime you feel anxious or uncertain, stop and take three deep breaths. Tell yourself that you can handle whatever comes next. Ooh, nice. So just some breaths. I can do this. No regrets. No regrets, just you can do this, you can get through this. Your potential is infinite and is always bigger than whatever problem you're going through. Michael Bernard Beckwith. Take three deep breaths, wow. The, not all of these cards have the same strategy, but these two are both telling you, just take a couple of, take a few deep breaths and repeat this affirmation three times. I am resilient, I am strong. I am resilient, I am strong. I am resilient, I am strong. And Capricorn, you are strong. You have so much potential here. Ooh, we have three cards that came out together. When you actually pay attention to nourish love and share what you've already have, it expands. Lynn Twist. So set an intention to focus on gratitude for what you have today. So what do we have? Well, the first thing I tell myself in the morning when I wake up is even if I'm like totally exhausted, I say, I am so grateful that I'm alive today. I'm so grateful that I can breathe fresh air into my lungs and that I my body moves out of bed. I can get out of bed, it moves. I can even do that. I have limbs that are functioning. I have, I can speak, I have a voice. 
just even, I have food, I'm waking up in a warm bed. There's so much, just in those, just even in a tiny little morning routine of gratitude, you can see how much you actually have and it just starts to change your frequency. So plant more seeds of positivity in your life. You'll be so surprised just how fast your bounty of blessings will start to grow, period. And that was a quote by Oprah. Something to think about. What you focus on expands. Nurture what makes you feel uplifted and inspired. So if you're watching content, if you're watching TV, watching the news, and it makes you feel sad, it makes you feel in despair over the way of the world, and you're watching all of these documentaries about the end of the world, the extinction that we're hurrying ourselves to, which I saw something like that on Netflix recently, it can get to us. It can start to make us feel like we're more tipping towards the dark side. The most important thing in life is to learn how to give out love and to let it come in. Maury Schwartz, take a deep breath. Recall a time when someone in your life showed you that they loved you. Who can you give that feeling to today? I love that. Give out, let, give out love and let it come in. To let it come in. Give out love to let it come in. So what we give, we get back. So if you want love, Capricorn, you gotta give some love. Beautiful reading. Take care of yourself and wishing you well through the Mercury retrograde period. We're fast lighting towards, in fact, we're already in the pre-shadow period of Mercury retrograde. So you might be feeling that urge to clear the clutter from your living space, to try to reframe those negative thoughts from, I don't want to, I want, or I'm grateful for my health today that I'm alive, even if I got a schnuffly nose or something like that, I'm not feeling your best. So back up your computer and phone, drive carefully, work through those financial fears and all of your fears that you have and do some meditating, journaling, healing, bathing, salt baths, going to nature and do your best, but don't overdo it. Okay, Capricorn, I'm sending you so much love. I feel, I feel your energy and I just want to hug you. I'm just hugging your energy right now. Need, need a hug. <sighs> sending love to you on the journey. Thank you, Capricorn.